we would meet up at you know every, every now and then. He was off wandering in America, and sometimes we would connect in one of the cities that uh, that they were in, and we'd sit down and talk. I mean, it's the same way I would do any piece of journalism, right? I I get to know the subjects, I uh, try to get inside their heads, mm-hmm. and really help them tell their story, yeah. right? This isn't really this isn't about me, really. Yeah. It's really more me using my abilities as a writer and a storyteller yeah. to let the world know about this, these, these amazing creatures, and, and I mean Luis and Tuesday, right. what they were doing, and, and what impact that might have on other people. Yeah, and you've written a couple of books before. You've helped people write books before. I mean, what was, there, was there a lesson that you learned through this process that was completely new to you? I mean, what was this experience like, and how was it different than your past? Well, I, I got to tell you, it was the first book I had done that involved a dog, right? Um, right? Yeah. Um, and, and the stuff that I learned really had a lot to do with that, which is the ro- about the relationship between human beings and dogs. Mm. And you know, it goes way back into early history. Mm. You know, uh, dogs have been part of our lives uh, really almost as long as we've been here. Mm. And they have done all kind of stuff for us over the years. Mm. Uh, I came to believe that there's so much more that we're really not doing it. For instance, service dogs are now working with, with kids with autism with uh, older folks in nursing homes, with, uh, with people with all kinds of disabilities. You know, we always knew about seeing eye dogs, right? But it turns out these animals, if we can just figure out what to do with them, mm. can do amazing stuff that we can't seem to do for each other. Yeah. And uh, that really, that opened my eyes a lot, yeah. yeah. 